Bridge is the dental jargon term for a fixed dental prosthesis in which at least two teeth are fitted with the crown and then connected with one or two links. Here you see a three-unit bridge. In the upper left corner, in this case the structure is made of gold. In the center, you can see an illustration of how the gap in the teeth is closed with this bridge. Below it, you can see the bridge as it's seen from the outside. Normally, the pontic is bounded on the left and on the right by teeth serving as abutments. Blocking individual teeth, such as the case where there's no gap in the teeth, is not necessary. The dental technician and the dentist are spared work by blocking the crowns, but that presents disadvantages for you, the patient. So we can see that a blocking of teeth realistically only makes sense in those cases where teeth happen to be missing, namely to bridge the gap in the teeth with a link. Sometimes overhanging bridges are made, for example in cases where two neighboring teeth are blocked and an end link is left hanging over. Such constructions can be legitimate if they are prepared towards the front, meaning away from the jaw joint, and with no more than one tooth as the overhanging link. Towards the rear or towards the jaw joint, for example as a replacement for a molar, such bridges do not make sense. The highest chewing pressures are found in the posterior region, as you would with scissors. This is the reason why molars have such massive roots. The high chewing pressures act on the overhanging link, and in combination with the leverage effect, the abutment teeth are exposed to severe stress. Bone resorption and damage to the teeth over a number of years can be the result. Also, bridges should not be constructed with spans that are too long. This too leads to excessive stress on the abutment tooth and thus to the loss of teeth, in most cases years later. More and more, the trend is towards creating realistic reconstructions. Thus, gaps in the teeth are more and more frequently closed with artificial dental roots or implants. A blocking of teeth, as in the classic bridge, is less and less necessary. More can be found on this topic by viewing the video called Implants. There can be huge differences in the execution of bridges, more specifically in the way teeth are cut. That's why some bridges last 30 or more years, while others last only a couple of years. For the important aspects concerning bridges, for example, why in some cases gums often recede with bad bridges, check out the content of the video entitled Crown. A good bridge doesn't cause any inflammation and or recession of the gums if it's not recognizable and lasts for several decades. Even if the bridge has to be replaced at some point in time, the tooth stumps underneath should still be fine.